There are two OLED monitors this year that everyone and their grandma seems to be bussing a fat one over. The MSI MPG321URX and the Asus PG32UCDM. Now both of these are 32 inch 4K 240Hz quantum dot OLED monitors using in fact the same exact panel but where they differ greatly is price. The MSI comes in at a cool roughly $950 but the Asus on the other hand is demanding an absolutely wild roughly $1300. After tax that's nearly a $400 difference for again the exact same panel. So like you, I wanted to know which one of these two is actually better because if they're the same, you might as well save the $350. So let's start this comparison with the design, which let's cut to the chase. The MSI is way better here, at least in my opinion, though if you think otherwise, please let me know in the comments below. I mean, not only is this stand far more usable space-wise since it isn't sporting these ridiculous clown shoes that Asus does, but it also has a less gamery look to it, especially since it doesn't have the ugly light up Asus chin. But let's be honest guys, we're probably not gonna be kissing our monitors. So let's move on to what matters most, performance. Yes, despite them using the exact same panel on the latest firmware, they are very different. Not only was the Asus significantly brighter in SDR to my eyes, especially on things like the desktop, but even HDR now gives Asus the advantage as they can near mimic the full screen brightness of the HDR 400 true black mode, but are able to extend all the way up to a thousand nits in dark scenes, something that I just haven't seen from any other 32 inch quantum OLED monitor thus far. Asus also allows you to properly white balance the display in SDR as well, making it more accurate for editing than MSI. So in terms of accuracy and brightness, the Asus is definitely ahead of MSI. However, I was told that a big update to the MSI MPG OLEDs would be coming later in August, which would not only implement many things that I asked for, such as white balance control and sRGB and HDR, but they are also considering, I was told, making a similar HDR mode to challenge Asus in that HDR brightness. So if you're watching this a few months from now, this could definitely change. But finally, we gotta talk features. And no, neither one of them has DisplayPort 2.1, but what they do both have is HDMI 2.1, KVM, a display stream compression switch, 90 watt power delivery, of course, OLED protection and firmware updates. However, there are actually a few things that Asus has that MSI doesn't, at least right now, such as Dolby Vision, black frame insertion, which I think that one's actually a pretty big one for a lot of people, uniform brightness, as well as picture in picture slash picture by picture. So certainly the Asus model is more feature complete. So overall, which is better? And hands down for me, at least right now, it's the Asus because of the better brightness and accuracy. However, the MSI comes in at such a great price and with the potential for even better performance soon and overall a better design, I think the MSI is also an excellent choice if you're looking to save big on a great OLED monitor. And by the way, I will have affiliate links to both in the description below if you're interested in purchasing one, but if you can swing it right now, I would lean towards the Asus again for now. But let me know in the comments below which monitor that you think is better and why, and also be sure to get subscribed for more reviews and comparisons on all things display on the Display Guy. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.